Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I blow up my hair to make it voluminous and big and it's pretty easy, it took me 20 minutes to do, but I'm doing it with the Revlon One Step Blow Dryer. I do have a couple of videos doing this, but I actually just got a new one of the blow dryer. This is my old one right here. This is my new one. So if you want to see the results, if it's worth it to get a new one after two years, or if you just kind of scrap it and go back to the old school blow dryer and hairbrush, and if you want to see how I blow dry my hair, then please keep watching this video. Okay, so this is my hair when I come out of the shower. So right now it's like a, a damp wet, I guess you could say. Um, I have naturally curly hair. Kind of hard to see because it's dark, but um, it's that wave curl type of thing. So I like to start with my bangs first. <sighs> um, that way I can just like get that out of the way, and then I can focus on the rest of my hair because I feel like the bangs just kind of like frame out my face. So with the blow dryer, it feels so different using this compared to my other one because it's like a wreck. The other one. So I am just going to part my hair like I always do. My mirror is down here, so don't mind me keep looking down. I part my hair on the side, but I'm gonna blow up my bangs like as if it's bleh, as if it's in the middle, and then I'm just gonna when I'm done with my whole hair, part it to like how I want it. So I'm just gonna find my bangs. So I just got my hair done, so they're pretty. Easy to find now, my bangs. All right, so like I just said, so with my bangs, I'm probably not going to talk through the hair dryer because it is really loud, but I will let you guys hear what it sounds like. So I'm basically just going to be going like this, back, forward, back, just so you get that like big volume for the hair. So I'm gonna put it on the highest setting, so. This is what it sounds like. I just use this part of the brush and just kind of keep twisting the brush around the barrel. So each way. Towards the end, I usually fix them. And I kind of just twist it with my hair so you can see the bangs like this, like so. So next, I'm gonna part my hair half up, half down. Just take any little clip that you have Clip your hair. I know you look crazy, but it's okay. So with this blow dryer, oh my god, ew. So with this blow dryer, I'm just gonna be going, I have light, long layers and angles in my hair. So I'm kind of, when I get to the end, gonna flip it this way, the brush, gonna flip it that way, just so it's kind of going each way. I don't like when my hair just goes in or just goes out. I like it to go all different ways. I just think it looks better and it gives it a little bit more volume. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So I'm just gonna be taking little sections like this. So I like to run through it first to soften it. And then when it's dry, that's when I kind of style it. So like this. The other way. So you can see how it's like flippy already. I like to hold it at the root because that's where it's obviously most wet. So again, you could see when I was done with this piece and it was dry, I took the other piece and kind of just did them together and, you know, um, styled it how I want. And then once it's done, I kind of just like run my fingers through it. Give it a little flip and it's again bouncy like so so i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my bottom hair it's pretty much the same process but i'm probably just going to speed this part up Okay, so now that the bottom is done, this is what it's looking like. So I kind of just like play with it with my fingers a little bit. These bangs get annoying, gets in your face. So again, it's I just kind of run with my fingers. It's really soft right now. 
this blow dry. I can see a difference already with my old one compared to this one. This one just is making my hair so much more silky, I feel. So yeah, this is what it looks like. So what I usually do, and a lot of people don't do this, but so I don't like confuse the wet pieces with the dry pieces, I tie my hair back with just a hair tie, a very loose hair, um, loose ponytail with a hair tie. That way it's not denting my hair, but I can also, um, look at this hairstyle right now, okay. But that way I don't confuse again, like I just said, the wet with the dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take down more. Again, half up, half down. This time I'm going from like the arch of my eyebrow, bringing those pieces up. Because the top of the head, that's where, that's like the most important, where you want to focus on to get the most volume. I'm going to work with one side and then the other. So again, we're just taking little sections. And again, I'm going to speed this process up. But um, I'm going to be going back and forth like I just did. Okay, so I just want to show you guys, this is the other half of my hair. So again, the bottom is like a little flippy and it looks super shiny again. So loving the new um, blow dryer. I mean, I've had it before, but after two years, like I said, it crapped out. So loving the new one. I'm pretty much seeing the same results like I did when I first bought it two years ago, how I was obsessed I was with it. I'm still obsessed, so. On to the next side. Okay, so half my head is done. It's dry, this bowl dryer is amazing. It's half the time and your arms don't hurt either because when you have a regular bowl dryer and a brush, you're constantly like this. So you can kind of just like let the blow dryer do its job and just go in and out like that, like you see me doing. Um, but yeah, it's halfway done. This is what it's looking like. So I just have the top of my hair left. So again, I'm just gonna pull these pieces back because I don't want it to get like confused with my wet hair. It's a very loose pony, so I'm not denting my hair at all. I know some people are so against doing this, but I think it just helps me. So with the top of my head, I'm gonna start kind of like from the back and work my way front, just cause I want a lot of volume up top. So I'm gonna take a piece like this at the top of my head and do exactly what I've been doing back and forth but kind of hold it at the root and make sure it's really um dry up there because again the root that's where it's like most wet so hold it here for just a second I kind of do it like how I do my bangs as well I bring it to the front of my hair my head. I just twist it on top. So I just want to stop that you could see how it's up right now. And it will flatten, but you could just see it gives it a lot of volume when you do that. So I'm going to kind of work from like, like I said, the back to the front. I'm sweating right now. I'm not going to just push that piece I did to the side and work now on this side. And what's nice is that you could just like twist it with your hand, which is a pro. So again, you can see some volume right there. We're leaving it right now. We're not running our fingers through it yet. Just finishing up the rest of the pieces. So you can see with that piece, I kind of just went like all different ways. I like the front of my hair. Like I said, all my hair to go this way, that way, back, forth. I don't like it just one way. And I feel like that helps with the volume as well. So you can see, I mean, there we go. <laughs> Crazy. So you can see right there, all the volume compared like to the side, it's flat. Now it kind of looks a little 50s right now, but wait till the end. Flip my bangs this way. I'm sweating, especially with this light right here. Oh my God. Now that's done. 
gonna take out this ponytail piece. Oh, tiny. Just my fingers through it so you could see how big it is and like voluminous, which is amazing. I'm a huge fan of like big, big hair. Um, but we're just gonna kind of like tame it right now. So it's just what it's looking like. So it's all dry, especially my root, which you make sure you like uh, always get. Kind of just like run my fingers through it as well, just to make sure I got all the pieces, make sure there's no damp pieces. But you can also see like the angles and the layers. So now I just kind of like part it and flip it how I want and run my fingers through it a little bit. But you could just see all the volume. I mean, this hair, my gosh. It's, I mean, I have a lot of hair to begin with, but this bowl dryer makes it like 10 times bigger, which is why I think everybody loves it and it's such like a big hit. So I part my hair on the side. I used to never part it on the side, but all of a sudden it's been going to the side. So that's where it wants to go. So right here, and I just kind of like brush my hands back with it. And I always go on the bottom, kind of just twist it a little bit like so. And yeah. This is the final result. I hope you guys liked it. That honestly took me, I did tell myself, it took me 20 minutes to do. Normally if I had like a regular bowl dryer, it'll take me forever and my arms would get tired and I would stop even though I am still sweating right now. But when do you ever not sweat when you're bowl drying your hair? Um, so again, highly recommend the Revlon One Step Blow Dryer. If you're thinking about getting another one, definitely get another one because mine, my old one. So this is the old bowl dryer and you can see I didn't, I took care, good care of it, like I took the hair out, but you could just see inside it, it's like, I don't know, it just got all the bristles all kind of spread apart, and I think that was a big reason why it was kind of like crapping out, because the heat wasn't getting through, because the bristles were all messed up, and it's just ugly, and it was making a weird noise, and it started to smell really bad, and I got nervous, so I'm like, I feel like it's actually damaging my hair. So for 50 bucks, I got this one at Walmart. You can also get it at Bed Bath & Beyond. If you have coupons, 20% off, you can get it um, probably a little bit cheaper as well. On Amazon, I know they have it. I will link it down below where you can get it, but it's pretty common now. Um, so it's definitely easy to find. It has different settings. It has the off, cool, low, and high. Um, I always use the high. Sometimes I lock it in place with the cool if it's like summertime. Just kind of like leave it in place the style, but normally I don't really do that in the winter. So yeah, like I said, my last Revlon lasted two years. This one I just got the other day. You can literally see the difference, but I'm definitely going to take a lot better care of this one, take the hair out of it. Each time I feel like that's a big plus, and the bristles you can see in this one they're intact they're all still together so once the bristles start to go that's kind of when you know even like with a regular brush your bristles start to go that's when you need to move on let go and get another brush so i don't do anything with my hair after i blow dry it sometimes i will put dry shampoo in it just like as a preventative so it doesn't get oily during the week but I wash my hair about two times a week anyway, and during the week I just put dry shampoo, but I'm not going to this time because uh, I know I'm going to be washing my hair in a couple of days. But I highly suggest if you want to leave it for like a week your hair, put dry shampoo in right after you blow dry it. Um, highly suggest that it helps in the long run. I don't put any heat protectant. I used to put heat protectant. Um, I feel like I didn't really do anything. I'm on my hair pretty much looks healthy i think and plus i just got a cut and i don't really think a heat protecting does that much sometimes i'll use it if I'm in the mood to use it then so be it but yeah just want to show you guys how i blew up my hair how i to get like that big voluminous hair so if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below let me uh, know what kind of video you would like me to do next and that does it for this video bye guys